looking at this question, we are making use of the percentage error approach. And don't forget that our formula for the percentage error is we have what is known as the estimated value minus the actual value over the actual value times 100 okay this is the formula for the percentage error this shows that the error over the actual value times 100 and in doing this looking at the question if you read the question very well it says that a student measures a piece of rope and found it was 1.26 long that's and if the actual length of the rope was 1.25 okay that means the actual value is 1.25 okay the error value is 1.26 okay now calculating the percentage error in this regard we have that our percentage error the estimated value which is 1.26 minus 1.25 okay over 1.25 times 100 and this gives what is 0 0.01 over 1.25 times 100 here the absolute value of any number is the positive value of the number so in this case we have 0 0.01 over 1.25 times 100 0 0.01 multiplied by 100 gives what 1 over 1.25 solving this without using calculator the 1 over 1.25 shows that we have 1 divided by 1.25 here we have 1 divided by 1.25 can be expressed as 125 over 100. Mathematically, you agree with me that this is the same as 1 times 100 over 125. That means we found the reciprocal of this when this turns to multiplication. And dividing to the lowest term, 25 here, 4, 25 here, 5. So 1 times 4 gives 4 over 5. That's the percentage error, and in expressing this in decimal, this is the same as what? 0 0.8. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video.